All right, what's up YouTube? I'm here today doing a what's in my bag because that seems to be all in the rave on YouTube. So right here we're looking at the backpack to get started. And this is a Dekine backpack, which is one of my favorite bag brands. I use them for uh, all my snowboard gear um, and all my travel bags uh, across the board. Great stuff. Um, this bag holds a ton and it's great for traveling. Great for all your tech gear. And uh, this one is called the Dekine Dual Backpack. Comes in a bunch of different colors. Uh, it's a t they have a couple different sizes as well. Running approximately 50 to 80 bucks, depending upon what color and size you go with. <clears throat> and I've had this one for a couple years now and it's held up great. Um, made it through a European vacation as well. Um, so it holds up, it's tough, it's rugged. Uh, great backpack all around. The first thing in here, you can see it right away. I have a water bottle. Not a lot of people put water bottles in there. What's in my bag video, but that's a hydro flask. It is um, 21 ounce, I believe. A uh, great water bottle. Doesn't sweat in the summer, which is killer. Um, and uh, keeps things cold forever. So I recommend picking one of those up if you're a, a water, water bottle guru. First uh, front pocket here. This one's actually an insulated pocket, so if you're you know, traveling and bringing lunch um, and need to house some cold stuff, you can kind of see in there. It's got the uh, lunch bag feel, if you will. And in that pocket, I have um, my big um, portable battery here. And this is the Solo portable battery. And this is the 2X size. They make two sizes. Um, this one is um, 20,000 milliamp hours so it's huge you can charge all my devices multiple times including my ipad it's got two outputs one in and what's great is the little indicator to show you what level of battery that is at it also comes with this sweet felt case um it actually looks you know like a very legitimate product with that case coming with it um that's actually one of the big reasons why i picked it up so it didn't get all scratched and and uh, beat up in the process of, of hauling it everywhere in the next pocket i have a little case logic case here and that is housing my bose headphones and these ones are the um first edition of the bose quiet comfort 20s they're the noise canceling ones they're not bluetooth or anything but great for for traveling great for flights and then i got uh you know charging cable different in ear tips there and then uh, a splitter there just in case i need that for traveling um and, and i chose to use this case logic case because it's much more protective these are actually made for hard drives but uh a little bit more protection for those nice headphones also in this pocket, you got your gum, you got some pens, just some random things here and there, but a bunch of little pockets that you can use to, to house anything else you might need to. And then at the top, I got a couple things in here. First is my Anchor Soundbud Slims. I actually did a review on these as well. If you haven't taken a look at that, I recommend doing so. Uh, great had little headphones, they're my go-tos now. Then I got some sunglasses. A lot of people include those. Um, necessity when traveling. These are prescriptions, so if they get stolen, I feel bad for whoever takes them. Then we can go ahead and hop into our middle pocket here. In here, I got two things. The first is my Logitech Keys to Go keyboard, which I also did a video on. If you haven't taken a look at that, I recommend doing so. Use this for my iPad for traveling great portable keyboard and then the next thing is my amazon basics case here with all of my chargers and cables and all that everybody uh, online has used this at some point so you know, i got everything in here from my standard apple brick to my macbook charger yes i i do not have one of the new ones with the um USB-C, so this is still MagSafe, which I actually would prefer. And then uh, I also have a backup little portable anchor battery. This is the Astro. Um, it's, uh, I think, 5,200 milliamp hours, so not, uh, not a huge one, but a little compact one with a nice little carry case for itself. And then uh, just, you know, USB port, a couple other auxiliary cables, a couple other lightning charging cables, all in there. I love this case because it's um, 
compact but can hold a lot and is very protective of all your stuff. And that is that for that pocket. And if we hop here, I have my iPad Pro 9.7 inch. This is an Inatec case. I absolutely love this case for a couple reasons. One, I love the felt look. Two, fits perfectly with a case on it as well, on the iPad that is. Can still fit it in there for you. And then this actually turns into a stand as well, which is great for traveling. Awesome, comes in handy on planes. Um, and that way you don't have to bring another stand or anything else. And then obviously I got my iPad here. Use that for all my media consumption. And the last thing in my bag is my MacBook Air 11 inch. And uh, I have a little leather sleeve for this guy. I actually don't remember the brand on that, but I'll put a link for everything down below if you're interested in taking a look at it. But then I have a MacBook Air 11 inch, just for portability, ease of use. I'm not uh, one of those master video editors that do it on the plane. <laughs> I do everything on my iMac. So this is just for media consumption, emails, um, and uh, very light task doing. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, cool. If you uh, have any recommendations on other gear I should get, let me know. Uh, I would love to see what you guys have in mind. Thanks again. Have a good one, guys.